Um, also trying to make it like as simple as far as uh, voicings are concerned. So uh, you can use the same chord voicings for the whole tune, uh, and I very much recommend that in the beginning. Um, so you're gonna go. Or I'm gonna have you actually come up with the bass line. <laughs> so, but your right hand, uh, you have third inversion D7, first inversion G7, third inversion C7, and then first inversion F6. So if you can memorize those, that's most of the song. And I want you to notice your thumb. voice things that I was talking about. And then this voice. That's all I need. Kind of cool. Anyway, it's the wonderful thing about these uh, progressions. And then you're going to go... So this is the second part, the monkey part. The explanatory part of the tune. Um, so just triads. So you can do F on the bottom, um, or what they're doing, F, C, F, C, uh, same concept. And then you got your G7, C7, G7, C7, and then. Uh, and as far as the bass line, we're going to come up with a walking bass line. So, Remember the concept. Mm -hmm. It's basically uh, you got four beats to get from point A, which is D, to point B, which is G. <laughs> <laughs> this is my rim shot. All right, so you go. Uh, you can walk the scale, but or you can walk the uh, the arpeggio. Right, or you can. Because of course we're in F major. So think about F major. Uh, and then from G to C, you can go passing tone or passing tone. Remember when there's a passing tone. Now going interestingly though, from D to G, if we are going this way, there is not a passing tone. Because of, a because of what it is. Because F sharp to G is just not. So you can go back, you can just backtrack, or you can go outside of the key, but whatever, jazz is dissonant. Okay?